What's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to do a hard drive upgrade or hard drive swap on an older style MacBook Pro. Now this, uh, this specific model is the A1229. Now I already went ahead and I took the screws out to save some some time, but if you you know if you don't know what to do, there's going to be some screws. I believe there's three or four on this side. There's none on the front. There's a couple on the back sides right here, and there's the same amount. Like oh, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, four screws on each side. And the screws in the back, and then you also have to you're going to have to remove. There's some screws. There's three screws right up in here. There's one there, there, there. Remove those. You're going to have to remove the... There's four screws right here. Here, 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 here. And then you also have two uh, star-shaped screws right here. It's, I forget the number hex uh, screw it is. But once you have all those out, you're going to need something flat. And in uh, this case, I'm going to be using a spudger. And you basically lay the laptop on its uh, side like that. And you're going to take the spudger, put it in here and pry up. And this will remove very easily, it shouldn't take any force. If you notice you're applying too much force, then there must still be a screw in there somewhere. Just do, you know, double check, triple check yourself. Once you get this to where it's, you know, freely coming off, just turn the lap laptop up a little bit, go up. And you have to be very careful because there's, there's a uh, ribbon right down in here. You're just gonna wanna lift it up like this and just pop that ribbon off. Once that ribbon is off, you can lift off the whole keyboard. And you're just gonna uh, rest that aside for now. All right, so now we're inside the, the MacBook Pro. Um, you can clearly see the logic board, the disk drive, and the hard drive. We're gonna be replacing this hard drive. All right, so what we have in here is 160 gig drive. We're going to be doubling it, and we're going to be going up to uh, 320 gigs. So this is a SATA connection, so make sure that the hard drive you are replacing it with is a SATA connection. Okay. Now, it looks like we're going to need the, the, the Torx bit in here again. It's the same size as the one you used to remove those, I think it was two screws on the back side. So you're just going to, just make sure you put them in a separate spot so you don't get them mixed up with the other screws. And there's one torque bit right there. So I've taken a total of three torque bits out. Torque screws rather, not bits. And I see one more, which is right down here. So that's a total of four. I'm just gonna lift that little bracket out. Now the hard drive is moving freely. Okay, there's gonna be some yellow tape. Just pry up the tape. Just be very careful. Wherever there's a ribbon, you wanna be extra careful. Okay. Once you get the tape lifted off, you're just gonna to wanna to pop this uh, SATA connection off. Just be very gentle. And there is tape on the back side, so I'll just make sure you remove that as well. Okay. Now, if you look at your hard drive, there are some things that you're going to need here, such as the Torx screws. So, you're just going to take these off.
Okay. Now, you take your replacement hard drive and you put these back in the same spots. That way everything lines up correctly. Just tighten them up so they're snug, they don't have to be super tight. Okay, once you get those back in, you're just going to take your SATA connection, reconnect it to the hard drive. back up Okay, what I, uh, what I did, I had to uh, stop the video and uh, reassess the situation. I had put these little rubber grommets on the wrong side. So just, uh, you know, take your time. Go slow with everything. That way, you, just, you know, I don't make the same mistake I just did. Not a huge mistake. Just took about two extra minutes. So once you get your, uh, you know, your rubber little grommets in and your uh, screws on this side, you're going to line these up with these little inserts right here. There's two little rubber inserts. So... You're going to just push that in so they sit in there and then push the drive down. And then this little piece right here just tucks away right down in there. You could push the tape back on it. And then you need to reapply this guard. Okay, all right, so the hard drive's in. Now what we have to do is start the reassembly. You're gonna take your keyboard and this ribbon back here, this is what has to get connected to the motherboard. So you just hold it up like so. If you can see that, yeah, you can. And there's a little connection right here. It's almost directly in the center of the RAM. Just a, sl a slight, maybe a millimeter off to the left, about an inch up, you're going to see the connection. So you basically, I'll do it with my left hand so you can see. You just push that down until it clips in. And then just uh, give a couple presses on the tape so it stays in place. And then lower the lid back down. These are very tight fit, so it just may take some some wiggling. There we go. Okay. So now all, all we have to do is place the screws back in. So we can. Close the lid. Be careful when, uh, before you, like, make sure this is screwed down if you want to close the lid, or if you are going to close the lid, just give some pressure because you could damage the screen if this isn't sitting all the way flush and you go to close it, you could uh, cause some damage down here. So just make sure it's down pretty much all the way. Give it a close, and then we can start putting the screws back in. I'll start on the bottom side.
I will save you guys the, the time of me going through each and every single one of these screws. I'll pop them in uh, after you know this video is over with. I'm just going to place this battery in. Um, now to get the the operating system installed, you know, we need to do a few things. Because if you go to power this MacBook up right now, nothing's going to happen. It'll power on, but no operating system will will boot up at all. So you have to have either a OS X installation disk or you need to have some type of media with the, the software on it. In this case, I'm using a USB flash drive. I have the OS X 10.9 Mavericks burned onto this. And if you are wondering how to get this installed on a flash disk, um, I'll be posting a video about that probably in another day or so. But uh, in the meantime, you're going to either put the disk in or the flash drive on the computer and I believe my battery is dead so I just have to plug this in okay now you're gonna to want to power on the machine and hold C down while the powers on I normally let go of the, the key as soon as I see the black screen come on. It could take a minute. Okay. Alright, it's booting off the flash drive right now, so basically it's starting the Mavericks installation. It's going to pop up asking a couple of simple questions, like right here. It gives an option to restore from a time machine backup, install OS X, you can get help online, and there's the disk utility. What I'm going to do is install OS X. Actually, um, if you're using a drive that was previously used in like a Windows machine, you're going to have to use the disk utility. You're going to have to format that. So select disk utility and hit continue. If you have a brand new drive, then you could just go right to install OS X. I'm going to choose install OS X just to see what it, what it does. Agree, agree. Okay, now here are the partitions. This one right here is the flash drive, and then these are the Windows partitions. You have that uh, system reserve partition, and then the actual Windows partition right here. And when you click on that, it says this disk doesn't use the GUI partition table. So you do have to go to the disk utility to format it. I just wanted to show you that. So I'm just going to restart the computer right now, get back into that setup so we can select the disk utility. And I'll be right back as soon as this boots up. Alright guys, we're back at that uh, same little utility right here. Uh, so like I was saying before, we're going to have to choose the disk utility. Okay. Right here is the 320 gigabit, uh, gigabyte Western Digital Drive. We're going to choose Erase. And we're going to want to make it 
Mac mm. OS Extended journaled. And then you're just going to hit erase. And then it'll ask you if you're sure and hit erase. It takes only about a minute to do, not even. Alright, done. So you can close that. Now we can choose to install OS X. Hit continue. Continue again. Hit agree. And hit agree again. And now it gives us the option to choose the hard drive. There's 319 gigabytes total and 319 gigabytes available. And we're just going to select that and then hit install. That's it. You did it guys. That's pretty much the whole process from taking the old hard drive out, whether you just wanted to do an upgrade or you wanted to swap out your hard drive because it was bad. The process all together, realistically, to get to this point takes less than 15 minutes. If you guys have any questions at all, if you're uh, working with a MacBook that is a different model, just uh, let me know. Thanks guys. Take care. One thing that I wanted to touch on that I uh, forgot to mention before, when you install OS X, no matter uh, really what the version is, it'll automatically install the drivers for the hardware that came with the laptop. Obviously, if you have some, you know, something plugged in through USB that didn't originally come with the laptop, it's not going to have the driver installed. It may, but it's not guaranteed to. But everything that you know came with the machine, it'll install the drivers for. I know uh, when you do a format and reinstallation on a, uh, a Windows-based machine, a lot of times you run into issues with drivers where you got to get the correct VGA driver, uh, you know, Ethernet driver, Wi-Fi driver, and, you know, the list goes on and on. I mean, it could just be two hours worth of work just to get the computer back up and running the way it should. Mac is really pretty simple. You know, just run the installation, you're done. So that's really all I wanted to add to this. Um, once again, if you guys have any questions, just uh, leave your comments or questions in the section below, and I will do my best to answer them. And I have a PC repair shop. It's located in Port Jervis, New York. It's called Port Jervis Computer. If you're ever in the area, feel free, stop on by. I'll, uh, you know, I'll talk with you. If you have any questions, uh, I'll you know, do my best to give you an answer. All right, guys, uh, don't forget to click subscribe. I'm gonna be doing videos at least on a weekly basis. I'm gonna to try to video um, each repair that I get. That way I can help as many people as possible. So thanks guys, have a great day, bye-bye.